Hello my friends, we are going to start a new project and in this project I'm going to teach you how you can become a data scientist from junior background. Let's say you are a reservoir engineer, chemical engineer, mechanical engineer or general engineer and you want to be a data scientist or you want to be familiar with the data scientist concepts or you want to apply different machine learning artificial intelligence in your data so in this case join us and i'm going to teach you step by step how you can apply these different methods different algorithms in your data how you can clean your data and how you can uh, do the modeling and analyze the data in this video series uh, i'm going to write the code do the coding in Python. Uh, you don't need to have a coding background so because I'm going to teach you from the basics uh, from very beginning and we are going to move step by step together. Uh, what you need to have right now in your system is Jupyter because I'm going to use a Jupyter platform to do the coding. So if you don't have Jupyter in your system, I suggest to pause this video and install Jupyter in your system. To install your Jupyter, just if you Google, Google the Jupyter, how to install Jupyter, you can find many uh, good resources, good videos that uh, teaching you how you can uh, install Jupyter. And it's free and it's very straightforward, so you can install that easily. So please pause this video, install Jupyter, and then we are going to start the course. Most simple use of Python is using Python as a calculator. So you can do the uh, basic mathematical calculations in the Python if you know about the basic operations. Uh, for example, if you want to do the addition or subtraction in the Python, you need to use plus or minus sign. Let's say you want to add two and five. So if you use plus sign, you can add this. So if you want to write it, write it in the in the Python, you, what you need to do is just write in two plus five, and you need to run this line. To run the line, this line, you can click on run button here. So if you click on the run, the output will be seven, which is the result of two plus five, or uh, you can use a shortcut. Shortcut for running uh, every line in Jupyter is clicking on Shift Enter. So if you click on Shift Enter, you can run that uh, line and the result will be 7. So let's imagine that you are going to do the subtraction operation in the Python and you want to have a code that is 7 minus 3. So if you write 7 minus 3, you will get the result and the result will be 4. For multiplication, you need to use a star and for division, you need to use a slash. Okay, so imagine you want to multiply 2 and 5. So 2 times 5 and you can write the code like this and if you run the code, you are going to get the result which is 10 or you want to divide 9 over 3. So if you use a slash here, this sign, so you can divide 9 over 3, and the result will be 3. So the output will be 3. So this is the basic operations that you can do in the Python, and you can use it as a calculator. If you want to do the power calculation, for example, you want to say 2 power 3, which will be 8. And if you want to write this in the Python, you need to use double star. For example, 2 power 3, and the result will be 8. Or 3 power 2, the result will be 9. So you can write the code like this. Uh, if you want to add new empty line, just click on this button. So it is going to insert cell. 
so you can use that cell and making it a little to look a little bit cleaner uh, the other operations that you can do in the python is floor division uh, what is a floor division for example if you divide 10 over 3 the result will be 3.33 okay the floor division of 3.33 will be the will be 3 yes so if you want to uh, get this 3 in one operation okay so if you write 10 slash 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 3 so the result will be the floor division of 10 over 3 and you can get 3 another example for example if you uh, simply divide 3 over 2 the result will be 1.5 but if you want to have a floor division of 3 over 2 so it will be the result will be 5 it will be 1 so in this case you can have 3 uh, slash slash 2 and the result you can get the floor division that's 1 uh, another operation is getting the reminder so imagine we are going to for example divide 20 over 8 and in this case you just want to have a reminder reminder of dividing 20 over 8 so if you use this sign percentage sign uh, you can get the uh, reminder so if you divide 20 uh, to 8 the reminder will be 4 or if you divide 9 over 3 the reminder will be 0 so uh, this percentage sign is giving you the reminder of the division so in conclusion the basic operations that we need to know in the python uh, for machine learning is uh, addition and subtraction which the sign is plus and minus multiplication and division that the corresponding signs will be star and slash power sign so if we want to use a power we need to use a star star to star is, is going to give you the power uh, floor division will be slash slash and the reminder reminder will be percentage sign